morning. Uh, this question uh, was sent to me through Facebook yesterday that I should prove whether cos x multiplied by cot x divided by 1 minus sine x minus 1 is either equal to uh, cos x or not. So first thing to do whenever you are given a simplification in a trigonometric ratios all you have to do uh, from the beginning is to make sure each term uh, is being transformed in, into either cos or sine uh, into either cos or sine ratios so we begin we have cos x times uh, cot x so this is only what we have to transform we need to transform uh, cot x uh, into cos and sine ratio form so we have cos x multiplied by we all know that cot x is the inverse of tan x and inverse of tan x is the same thing as cos x divided by sine sine x so instead of uh, cot x we write cos x divided by sine x which is cos x divided by sine x all divided by 1 minus sine x minus 1 so this is what we have from the left hand side we need to prove that what is on the left hand side is the same thing with what is on the right hand side so we continue we open this bracket by multiplying cos x with this particular term so cos x times cos x is equal to a cos squared x then divide by sine sine x now since we have uh, on the denominator 1 minus sine x we have to multiply by 1 divided by 1 minus sine sine x minus 1 this is the one we have again cos square x times 1 is always cos square x cos squared x now we divide this by sine x times 1 minus sine x sine x multiply by 1 minus sine x the whole of this minus 1 since we are dealing with uh, a fraction we can change this one into sine uh, x times my 1 minus sine x divided by 1 minus sine x because any function dividing itself is equal to 1 so it is something as seeing cos squared x divided by sine x multiplied by 1 minus sine x the whole of this minus sine x in bracket of 1 minus sine x divided by sine x in bracket of 1 minus sine x this function and this function they are the same so this divided by this is the same thing as this one so whenever you are dealing with fractions and you have two similar denominators all you have to do is to simplify the numerators so we have uh, cos uh, square x minus the whole of this function which is cos square x minus uh, sine x in bracket of 1 minus sine x you divide by then you take one of the denominators which is sine x multiply by 1 minus sine sine x and again you can uh, multiply this with what is in the bracket uh, but remember cos squared x remember sine squared x plus cos squared x is always equal to 1 so therefore cos squared x is here if you make it the subject of the formula you have uh, cos cos squared x to be equal to 1 minus sine x 
cos squared x to be equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So instead of cos squared x, you can write 1 minus sine squared x here to uh, substitute cos squared x. So we have 1 minus sine squared x. Then minus sine x times 1 is minus sine uh, x. Then minus minus, which is plus sine x times sine x is uh, sine squared x. The whole of this divide by sine x multiplied by 1 minus sine x. Again, we have minus sine squared x, sine squared x here, and we have plus sine squared x. So therefore, minus sine squared x will take care of plus sine squared x. We are only left with 1 minus sine x on the numerator side. So we have 1 minus sine x at the numerator and the only denominator we have sine x multiplied by 1 minus sine x but if you uh, look at this carefully we have 1 minus sine squared x on the numerator and also on the denominator so 1 minus sine squared x will cancel 1 minus sine squared x we are only left with 1 divided by sine x. And uh, from our trigonometric identities, uh, the sine inverse, which is 1 minus sine, uh, 1 divided by sine x, is always equal to cos sec x. Uh, so on the left hand side, we have cos sec x, and on the right hand side, we have cos sec x. Hence, the left hand side is equal to the right hand.